So in this episode, we're going to talk about a hot new product that's about to come out into the hobby, and it may change your perspective about how you light your tank. So let's get to it. A little while ago, I sent an email out to Orphic Lighting in the hope to get an advanced unit of their new fixture called Ocean. Uh, surprisingly, uh, about a week or so after that, I did receive emails from them saying that they would be glad to provide me with a unit to test on my channel and also introduce and give my first impressions of it. Um, with that being said, I am not contracted or being paid by Orphic to give uh, a raving review on this fixture. I, it will be an honest review in how it works and uh, does over my system. In doing some research on Orphic, I, I found a lot of positives behind them in that the co-founder and CEO of Orphic um, is a hobbyist, he is a certified diver, and he's also been in love with uh, fishing corals ever since he was a child. What this video is going to cover is the initial unboxing, the, my initial uh, opinions of the light, specifications of what the light uh, has and what makes it up, as well as uh, the price point that is going to be on the light when it's released. Shortly after this video, I'll have another one come out with the installation of the light. That'll include hanging it, um, the kit that we, I use to hang it, how the light works because this fixture does operate off your cell phone so it'll be a breakdown of the app and what the app looks like and my, what my initial feelings are of the light over my system. This will be an ongoing process in that there is no review that's worth anything unless it's over time. So there'll be updates on this light uh, as far as how the corals and the fish respond to it what growth I see, coloration, the whole nine yards, but it'll be an ongoing um, test of this light over my system. Also, in one of those videos, I'll have PAR readings for you. Right now, I don't have a PAR meter. Uh, I'm attempting to remedy that right now uh, by trying to get one, and also this way I can give you what the PAR readings are at different levels of the tank, different areas of the tank that the light sits over. So. I hope you enjoy the video and uh, let's get to the unboxing. So after being notified from Orphic that I was going to re be receiving the light, this box showed up at my doorstep. Uh, immediately I couldn't believe the size of the box and also that it had a little damage but like a kid at Christmas time I proceeded to uh, get the box open and see what was inside of it. After opening the box, this is the uh, light fixture and the box that it came in. Uh, right from the start I was impressed with the packaging, but I wanted to see what was inside. The unit itself was very well packaged, uh, and even though the shipping box was a little beat up when I got it, the light was very well protected. Um, the first item that I was able to get my hands on was of course the hanging kit. So immediately the first thing I want to do is, and everybody's the same, is you want to get to the fixture itself. So the one thing that you can tell right away is that the Ocean is a very light fixture. It comes in at a little over four pounds, so you know that hanging it is not going to be a big issue. But then, once you unwrap the paper, you automatically take notice to just how great the light is aesthetically. From the 10 millimeter um, of acrylic stamped with the Orphic Ocean logo, that as you can see right here, to the silver aluminum body, also stamped with the uh, same logo, this light is sleek and will look great over anyone's tank. Upon closer inspection, I took notice to where the light's heat sink is, and also you can tell by this picture right where my thumb is, just how thick that 10 millimeter glass is. And also I took notice to, um, as I turn the light, the location of the holes for the hanging kit, which I've never seen them side by side like this, but I'll get more into that uh, when we talk about the installation part. Now getting back into the box and digging underneath it is this box. Um, I can only assume that this was the, the transformer and sure enough, as I opened it, 
um, it turned out to be yes this is the silver aluminum body of the Meanwell driver this is the transformer that fits externally to it and upon examining it I noticed these tabs which make mounting a heck of a lot easier uh, so you can locate the transformer either in the back of the stand or on, on it, wherever the plug strips are but it also keeps the main light really light and keeps that four pounds because the driver itself is external to the light not internal as some have So let's get into talking about some specs on the Ocean. Uh, the first thing I took notice to is it had this rating IP64, which I did not know what it meant. So I did some research on it, and what that uh, means is that it's protected from uh, total dust ingress as well as water spray from any direction, which is always important to us because our lights do take a lot of abuse from dust and also uh, from salt spray. Also, it has a CE rating, which indicates that the product conforms to health, safety, and environmental standards, which is always a big thing because a lot of the cheaper versions of lights don't have these certifications. With learning about the IP64 rating on the light, um, it kind of made me feel at ease because the cooling fan on the light is located between the uh, LEDs in an area that I would have thought would have been uh, a little bit difficult when it comes to salt creep. But knowing that the light is protected from this, made me feel a little bit more relaxed in the location of this so we'll see how this does also over time okay now speaking about LEDs the ocean is made up of Cree and Osram LEDs now everybody knows about Cree and, and their reputation but also Osram one that I hadn't heard of is known for smart lighting and are among the leaders in color changing LEDs which this light does have uh, when you uh, look at the way the lights are set up and the different variations of light you get from it. Now the chart coming up will show you the different channels of LEDs and the amounts of LEDs per channel, but also it ranges from 420 to 6500, as well as six channel control for optimum customization of spectrum. Again, the Osram LEDs, uh, which are noted for their color changing capabilities, do allow you a lot of room to both change your spectrums and your colors of lights that are achieved over your tank. And again, we'll delve more into that when we go into the installation in the next episode. As far as operating the light, uh, it works with an Android or um, Apple app. Uh, the light uses a very simple technology that requires only a cell phone with a Bluetooth capability and after all most of the cell phones today if not all of them have Bluetooth capabilities. Um, the user can download the Orphic app and connect. Um, there is no need for communication hubs, routers or any other means of communication devices. Uh, this connection is made directly from your smartphone to the light. Now the app itself does give you areas where you can have an acclimation period or um, if you choose to take a section of the world where the reefs are that gives that opportunity whether it be Great Barrier or Hawaii or etc and also uh, full control is available it gives us also the lightning capability as well as uh, clouds and to monitor temperature and to set your uh, also to set your own lighting schedules as you see fit so there's a lot of um, capabilities that the app does give you and uh, we'll look more into that uh, on the next episode when we uh, take a real good close-up look at the app. The Ocean is a complete plug-in and plug-out unit which means um, all you have to do to charge the unit up is to plug it in and it'll automatically come to life pull the plug out and it'll power down the unit there's no on off button uh, everything's done as I said before through the app but what this also means is it lends itself to using it with uh, aquarium controllers and also uh, and also timer modules. But being that you can operate it through your phone and uh, not worry about it, set it and forget it, it's just a unit that you would plug in, set its programming on your app, and uh, just let the unit do its thing over time. So now let's talk about price. Uh, Orphic has said that the unit's going to range between 490 and 549 plus taxes uh, when it's released. Uh, it's not currently released to the public. Uh, they will probably 
join their uh, Facebook page and I'll put that in the links below and they um, you'll be able to find out when it's being released to the public uh, so any inquiries that you may have you can go to orphic.com and I'll leave that link as well as far as my first impressions I'm really excited about trying this at light out and putting it over my tank and seeing what it does for my fishing corals it's a higher end light that I've ever used so uh, that also is getting me a little bit thrilled about what it may do to, for my corals and fish the general looks of the of the fixture itself is really streamlined it's really light and also when you put those LEDs on that outer ring of the the acrylic glows and it just adds a different dimension to any light that I've had to use so far so Basically, that's it for the first episode and the introduction to the light. Stay tuned for the upcoming video where we install it over the tank. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, again, check the links down below and also drop a comment if you have any questions for me. If this is your first time uh, visiting the channel and you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to get notifications when future videos come up, especially the next video where we install the light. If you are a returning subscriber, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, keep supporting the channel and thank you again for your support. So that takes care of that uh, of this episode. So as always, this is Scott and I will see you soon around the reef tank. Thank you for watching this episode of Roscoe's Reef with Scott. As always, don't forget to like. Comment, share and subscribe.